I think that it is probably time for a game. It's time for a game. It's time for it's a game. It's time for a game. Time for a game. Am I the only one dancing? Yeah. Okay. Dance at home. If you're tuning in, or if you tuned in last week, you of course saw us play a round of Superpower Would You Rather. Which I think we can unequivocally agree that I won. Yeah, Feels I announced right. you as the winner of that exactly. one. You Did didn't you? have to say unequivocally. <laughs> it was... Well, now I just seem like a jerk, like I'm rubbing it in your face. That's because you are a jerk. Boom! I won! I won! Tonight's game is going to be called Console Wars. Go, 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 console, console Wars. Wars. That's right, but a little bit of a twist. Sort of. Well, we're not really going to be putting an Xbox versus a PlayStation, because that would be the most boring fight ever. They just yeah. sit there. They don't have legs. They don't have arms. This isn't CNET. We're not just reviewing no. you know, technology for you. Boring. What we're going to do is we're going to take mascots or characters three of them from two separate consoles and we're going to have them face off and yep. fight each other and we're going to let you guys help us decide which console has the best characters um to fight in this battle who wins yeah we're, so this is how it's going to go down if you tuned mm -hmm. in last week you remember um, one of us would present a bad superpower, the other person would present another one, and then we debated about which superpower we would rather have. Yes. It's going to be the same sort of format here. Mm -hmm. One of us will produce a notable character from a console, and we are, we have been given a, an individual console. I have been assigned the Sega Genesis, Boo. which I you know had as a kid and remember Boo. fondly. Tyler has been assigned... The Super Nintendo! Yay! Oh my gosh! Yeah. That's so great! Yeah. No, one, no one's going to deny that. Okay, you, sorry. You are the worst. You are the worst. So, on this, what will undeniably be the last episode of Super Squad. Thanks Dave, for tuning in. This yeah. was fun. I think we've now alienated all of our Producers viewers. over there just shaking her head at we me. Have shaking her head at me. Uh, on this episode, we're going to produce a character. I will say a character. He'll say another character. We'll debate over which character yep. is the better character. And we want to see your responses in the live chat. So... Tyler, because you won last week, you get to go first with your first character. All right. Today. <clears throat> My first Super Nintendo character, you probably guessed it at home. And by the way, he has no idea who I'm going to say. We have right. not pre-talked about we this We have not revealed all. this to each other. So my first character is none other than Link from The Legend of Zelda. What does Link bring? Well, yes. everything. He's got an arsenal at his fingertips, magically in his pouch. He can use magic for one. He's got a bow and arrow, bombs, a sword, another sword called the Master Sword. He's got a lantern. He can light up dark places. He's got a That's cape right. of invisibility. I mean, we could go on and on. I've got a flashlight app on my phone. I should Ooh. go and quest things into some dungeons as well, it seems. Well, mm -hmm. well. who you got for me? From Sega. Let's hit it. Let's hear From it. Sega, I'm going to go with... <clears throat> I'm going to pull out my idea notebook. Yep. Mm. The first character that I'm going to go with in this competition is a uh, very notable Sega character from the most identifiable Sega Genesis, Sega whatever uh, yep. series, Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm of course going with the star of Sonic the Hedgehog, Knuckles the Echidna. Knuckles, of course. He was the best one. Knuckles debuted <clears throat> in Sonic 3 on the Sega Genesis. Yep. Uh, no, I'm sorry, not Sonic 3, Sonic and Knuckles in the Sega Genesis. Uh, he had its own game. Uh, it was the same sort of game as the others, but Knuckles was a brand new character to the series when he came out. Uh, no one in the world, out, not in the world, outside of Australia knew what an echidna was. Yeah, I still don't. Yeah. And um, so Knuckles was a character that, of course, changed the way Sonic games were played. Sonic was really fast. Tails could kind of fly a little bit. Knuckles could just straight up climb up walls. Yeah, he's got spikes on his spikes knuckles. Spikes on his knuckles. That was, hence the name. But what I, th what I think is the coolest thing about... Right? You didn't know it. What I think is the coolest thing about Knuckles is this. Sonic and Knuckles was not shaped like a normal uh, cartridge. It had a little thing up on the top that you could flip open and you could plug in Sonic 3 or Sonic 2. Yeah, that was awesome. And it would put Knuckles into Sonic 2 or Sonic 3. So Knuckles had the ability, back in the mid-90s, to mod console <laughs> games. That's All a right? pretty open... So are you saying that Knuckles 
could come into my Zelda game? Is that essentially <laughs> what you're trying to tell me? I'm not saying that he could, but I'm not saying that he wouldn't do it if given the opportunity. Okay. So, you pulled out Ooh. the big guns early on with I mean, Link. I'm going hard. And that's totally fine, and I totally respect that. Yeah. Um, but uh, Knuckles, I think, is the you know one of the most iconic ones um, on the, the, the Genesis, the ones that stick out to me, because yeah. that game was... Basically, early modding, which I think is yeah, that's amazing. Pretty impressive. As a kid, it blew my mind that they were able to do that. So, who's going to be your pick? Gosh, that's really tough uh, because you pulled out the big guns. Instantly. I did go. I went big really quickly. Um. Whew. Man, I just don't know. You give your I'm answer first. I'm going to be honest. Mm -hmm. I. There are some iterations of Link that would be really, really strong, but. Knuckles Knuckles never broke. <laughs> they never got injured. Like, he would die, but not, are they made of adamantium? I can't say. I don't know. Do you know? I think Knuckles could... I think it's quite possible that Knuckles could punch through anything that Link could throw at him. Magic? Mm -hmm. Anything else? Um, so I'm kind of going to give it to Knuckles. Okay. This is my only question. Are okay. we talking about... Kid Link or Adult Link? We're talking about Kid Link from A Link to the Past. Oh, then Knuckles will win. Okay. I mean, I guess he's Kid Link, or is he he's Adult Link? It's in A Link to the Past. I don't Link know how the... old he really yeah. was supposed to be in uh, that game. Yeah, I guess he wasn't really a kid until the 64 game. Yeah. Okay, in that case, I'm going to go with Link then. Okay. I think that's... Why, why would you go with Link? Young Adult Link. Well, he just is a, a hardened veteran warrior yeah. at that point in time. He's faced many a Scatola. He's yeah. bested Ganon... Probably a couple of times. Um, he even woke up a giant flying whale who was dreaming a world, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with Link. I think yeah, I really am going to go with Link. I'm switching right. back to Link. You okay. convinced me. Link, Link is the clear winner here. Let's see what we got here, some comments. We got Alec Holland pointing out that Link can take more than two consecutive hits without dying. That's true. Yeah. Sometimes when I'm like, you know, trying to exercise or something and I trip and fall... Boom, rings come flying out of me. Yeah. Um, Knuckles still much faster than Link. That's and there's true. one thing that I do remember about Link from Link to the Past. He was not exactly the fastest mover in the yeah, world. So that's, that's going to go in his favor. But um, go on, I'm sticking with Link here. I'm going to stick with Link as well, but I think it's going to be a close one. All right. So my, Round two. Yeah, round two. My second character, mm -hmm. and one that I am very proud of. Uh, the Sega Genesis had some real weird ones. I'm going to go with... Vector Man. Wow, Vector Man. You, you are bringing Vector out. Man? I do remember Vector Man. You're bringing out the big guns here, dude. Vector Man was sort of a Sega Genesis uh, updated version of Mega Man in some ways. Kind of, yeah. You know, similar names, yeah. similar style in that you can uh, with Vector Man you could shape shift. You have different abilities depending on what form you have taken. Vector Man was made out of a bunch of balls. He looked like some sort of uh, weird like Lego set um, as a video game character and you could I couldn't really tell if it was supposed to be machinery robots what it was doesn't but matter Man was, Man. was versatile he could he could shape shift to match the situations I'm gonna go with vector man as my second I can dig it so in an interesting twist I love that you went with the vector man <laughs> because my second character is none other than the pink god himself Kirby. Yeah, that's Kirby a good call. as well could take on the abilities of his enemies. Yep. I mean, who can beat Kirby? He sucks them in, boop, poops them out. He's got their powers. He can do what they can do. And he could go up in the sky and come down hard as a brick. Yeah. I mean, he's got some skills. He's nearly indestructible, I think. In brick form, for sure. Oh, for sure in brick form. Smash Bros. has taught us that. Exactly. Ooh, but that's a good but one. you know yeah. he can but Vector Man can shape shift. It's true, and I'm thinking about uh, I'm all, you mentioned Smash Bros for the 64, and I'm also thinking about how it was kind of really easy to kill Kirby if you hit him right in Smash yeah. Bros. That's one thing about Kirby. He is you know pink ball. He's he's uh, light. He's versatile. He's light, and he's kind of durable because he's basically a Jello sort of thing. Yeah. Um, but I think Vector Man is Kirby's cute. Yeah. Vector Man, gritty, determined, uh, and has more weapons. Mm. So I'm going to go with the mechanical, the the legend Vector Man. I'm going to go with my own pick on this one. I honestly think Vector Man has seen tougher battles and tougher days than Kirby. Yep. 
I don't know. It was know a darker they, world. It, it was some was, sort of like post apocalyptic it really nonsense. Was. So. I don't know if he could kill Kirby, but in a fight, I think he could best Kirby. Yeah. You know, in a one on one match. I'm not going to yep. say he could kill Kirby, no. but I can give it to you that he yeah. could. In he this, could beat Kirby. In this, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so, I'm going to go with Vector there Man. There you go. You know, and it's it's tough because I think Kirby would have beaten a lot of others, but I think this is... Yeah, such this a, was just an interesting yeah. matchup because yeah. we picked our our picks beforehand and I, there's no changes. No yeah. changes. All right. There All right, so third and finally, yes, this is the pick I'm most excited about and I think is probably indefeatable. Mm. I don't want to say he's invincible, but I don't know how you could beat him. Okay. That is the legendary, mm. the remergent. Is that the word I said earlier? <laughs> yeah, remergent. Cranky Kong. <laughs> Cranky Kong himself, guys. Let me tell you why Cranky Kong is the greatest <laughs> Super Nintendo character of all time. Oh wow! Because Cranky Kong has seen it all, folks. Cranky Kong. You may or may not know this about Cranky Kong. Cranky Kong debuted seemingly in Donkey Kong Country, which released on the Super Nintendo. Seemingly. However, as you progress through the game, and as you hear some of Cranky Kong's old, crazy stories, what you come to realize is Cranky Kong himself was the original Donkey Kong who kidnapped Mario's girlfriend, Pauline. Mm. He, may she rest in peace. Yeah, whew, Pauline, she's still alive, but yeah, whatever. So, Cranky Kong has a lot of combat experience. He's fought the king himself, Mario, and bested him yeah. on many a day. He can throw barrels like a boss, but now he's old, and I'll give you not as strong as he once was. We didn't see him fight, so we don't know. He could whip that cane around. I've seen some elderly folks yep. whip you around. So, he could fight, he could throw, and he's got the wisdom that only comes through life experiences. <laughs> and the crumudgery that only comes through Oh, he doesn't take nothing from nobody. I can tell you that much right nobody. now. He is <laughs> cranky. Oh, man. That is that is a brilliant pick. Thank you. That is a brilliant pick. I'm pretty proud of my pick also. Let's hear it. I'm going to give you a hint, anyone watching at home, if you can identify this familiar sound from this character. Ow! You know who that is? That's, of course, whenever damage is taken by Earthworm Jim. Earthworm Jim! Now, what a great character. Quick side note, uh, before anyone points out in the live chat, the mm -hmm. Earthworm Jim game was made for the Super Nintendo. It was ported to the Super Nintendo. Mm. It was originally developed it for was. the Sega Genesis. Um, and uh, So he was originally a Sega Genesis mm. character. So that's why we talked about that part beforehand. I was like... Okay to yeah. pick that. No, it works. So he is more of a Sega Genesis character. The Super Nintendo game it. was just an addition. But Earthworm Jim, uh, he had it all. Weirdness, <laughs> humor, uh, of course that ow sound effect anytime he got hurt. He could whip himself. He could whip himself. He he was a <laughs> he, he was a super himself. suit with a worm inside. Um, oh. Earthworm Jim inspired a cartoon yeah uh, which I think is really important mm. um, which is also really weird uh, yeah. <laughs> cartoon as well I uh, really cat earthworm Jim captured the uh, pff, I don't know kind of the voice of the Ren and Stimpy yeah generation for video games he in did. a lot of sort of in a lot you know of ways what earthworm you know? Jim reminds me of the game toe jam and Earl <laughs> yes escape yeah. was it escape of Funkatron or planet yeah. Funkatron yeah. something like that yeah exactly. a little bit obscure like that yeah so <laughs> So we brought out the big guns we for this really last did. one. We really did. This is yeah. great. So I'm looking over the live chat. What we see in here. Pretty much so far, everyone's agreed with our choices. Yeah. Uh, Link wins the first one. Vector Man wins the second one. And everyone seems pretty torn. Uh, we have uh, yeah. my buddy Scott, who's on here, who is uh, mentioning that I should have gone with Toe Jam. Yeah. Um, and... Uh, Oscar from from Chile has said uh, he should have picked Dwarf from Golden Axe. There were a Ooh, lot, that was I, a I cycled good one. through a lot of Golden Axe mm. and um, uh, characters trying to figure out if I wanted to go with one with one of those. Uh, Boogerman has been mentioned on here, which Booger is a Man. great one. I remember Toe Jam Earl Boogerman yeah. quite fondly. So we're gonna move into our giveaway. Whoa! But you're skipping over the winner of uh, 
the console wars. Oh no, you're so right. <laughs> I almost forgot. We know Goodness. who won, and yeah. honestly, there's a reason I skipped it. And yeah, well, and you probably know who won if you're looking at the live chat yeah. because you have voted, and it seemed to be overwhelmingly in favor of Earthworm Jim. That's right, folks. Earthworm Jim, which is a crying shame because Cranky Kong was an amazing choice. Thank you. I appreciate that. I really do appreciate the uh, the honorable mention that you gave me. Yeah, I mean, you appreciate still lost. That. Yeah, you still lost though. You lost. You know, I'm a gracious winner. He lost. I'm a gracious winner. You are the opposite of that. I appreciate it if you would return that. Back. You actually physically rubbed it in my face last week. I don't week. remember. So, there's I'm just no, saying, there's that no happened. Proof. There's no proof. The competition so far this year is one and one. Yeah. You won last week, I won this week. So, so who knows what will happen next week. Happen Anything next can happen week. on SSD where it's unfiltered. Hey. Woohoo.